What's up everybody, Kinetic here, and welcome to Blades and Rings. Yes, this is a, a new mobile game review that I've got for you guys today, and I like doing these every once in a while. And this particular one is, it's really hilarious, the timing of this, because I've been saying for a while now, like, I want I want more Lord of the Rings-inspired games, like MMORPGs or just, you know, single-player RPGs, ARBGs, something like that. And now here comes Blades and Rings and does exactly that. And what I'm going to do in this video is I'm going to point out like the head spinning amount of gameplay modes options customization this is one of the most feature packed games I've seen for mobile and that's really saying something because I've tried a lot of different mobile games some of them get like really skimpy on the number of customization options or uh, things that you can do to kind of enhance and, and customize your characters gameplay combat style and things like that but this game just has so much so I'm going to try and fit as much as I can into this video but if you want to know more about uh, blades and rings check the sponsored link in the description of this video they've got premium features and services that you can sign up for as well let's Let's go ahead and get started with this. Uh, the thing that I definitely want to kind of start off and point out is uh, the mage class. The mage class is the newest class in the, the big patch that came out recently and it's got like some really flashy but fun and effective like AoE skills. Look at that, like I've got insane AoE range with this class. Uh, unlike the, the warrior, the archer, that uh, I mean they can do some AoE but I think the, the mage is probably doing like the most king levels of amount of AoE damage. Just really insane and extremely, extremely powerful as well. Uh, so the mage classes is my preferred, but you have your choice of some other classes definitely here in the game. One of Blades and Rings biggest features by far is the, the ring system. Now what you will do is in order to get more powers, be them active or passive abilities for your characters, you will have to go out and you will have to defeat bosses to get these rings. And these rings provide you with all sorts of different powers uh, for your character. I mean, they're literally, they become your active skills for your character. So for example here, we've got uh, Roaring Shadow, skill description from the Ring of God. Activates Enlightened for 20 seconds, contains three powerful skills, and greatly increases your stats. That was one of the, the first ones you can see from, uh, from chapter one. One of the newest ones, is this it here? No, this is not it. Hang on a second, because there's so many different rings from not just humans, but we've also got dwarf rings, we've got elf rings as well. I think it was, I want to say it was the Dwarf King. Was it the Dwarf King? No, 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 it wasn't the Dwarf King. Hang on, I'm getting my rings confused. There it is, okay. This is the newest one that I just got, and when I saw the description, I was like, oh my god, yes. Increases XP gained by killing monsters by 30%. 30% increase in your XP gains. That is freaking crazy, and that's the, uh, that's a passive bonus, of course. You don't, like, activate a skill, although, you know, maybe some games might do that. You know, activate a skill to get 30% more, uh, experience from, from killing monsters, but that came at a great time. I'm now, uh, level 130, and by this point, the XP is starting to, to slow down, uh, considerably, but, uh, up to this point, yeah, the XP gains have been really good. I haven't had to, like, grind a whole lot, just really taking advantage of all of these freaking quests that this game has. There are so many different quests and game activities. So again, I'm gonna try and fit as much as I can for you guys in this video. Let's take a look at the wasteland actually. I've got one more attempt on uh, on this today. So, uh, limit level 100, we'll go ahead and challenge him. And this should take me probably to an arena, if I remember correctly. Yes, it does. Now, what you can do is, this game is kind of like an idle RPG, if you want it to be, right? If you want to, you can totally set it to, to auto battle for you. And your character will run around, perform its skills, will even mount for you. Um, it will revive you automatically, it will buy new potions for you automatically. It will, it will recycle and salvage your gear automatically for you. The amount of settings for this game is pretty ridiculous, actually, in how far it goes to allow you to automate your experience. I mean, the, the only thing it doesn't do is just do everything without you touching anything. <laughs> but, I mean, that's, that's the maximum, right? This game is only one step behind that in terms of how far it can take its automation, which is crazy, including, and why I call it kind of an idle RPG, uh, the ability to, to farm and battle for you 
while you're actually logged off from the game. A lot of games are doing this now, where they will go on and they'll continue to, to kill mobs, to collect loot and stuff like that. So sometimes, you know, when I'm logging back in, I've, I've just got like this, this huge pile of loot waiting for me in my bag. My bags are full and, and I've, I'm like Super Saiyan like 7 now or something like that. It's crazy. Uh, here comes the boss. All right. I was waiting for him to, to kill trash. Now the boss fights I have to pay attention to. While I do call this kind of like an R idle RPG type of experience, it's also highly interactive uh, at times. And you will definitely, in certain instances, against certain bosses, maybe when you're trying to get one of the, the rings of power, uh, you will need to be on your toes because, and this guy looks like he's not gonna be, nope, he's not that big of a threat. I've been waiting for him, so I'm probably overpowered for that fight, but some of these guys will do, like, insanely powerful abilities, and there'll be other kind of uh, dangers within the, the fight itself. Before I go into showing off more of the, the different game modes, including activities designed for guilds and uh, big parties, let's take a look, actually, at uh, your character's progression through your gear and things like that. So, first, starting off on the, the character button here, every time you level up, I believe, you will get uh, some attributes that you can add to your character to enhance, you know, whatever the strengths you're going for with your character. Now, let's say you're really new to RPGs and you don't know how to set your points. Well, then you're in luck because this blue button, Recommend, is a... <laughs> is a recommendation button so it will allocate your points for you in the places where it thinks your build should go from here and then just click confirm there you go setting your attribute points almost doesn't get any easier than that almost okay uh, you can also train your mount uh, shadow swift there's an auto train button there as well that uses diamonds you also will get uh, a relic or actually you'll get multiple relics starting from level 130 and uh, you'll start by getting like different materials relic materials and if you're wondering where to get them the game also really helps you out there as well super convenient all these features really by telling you there you go uh, for example the the HP or 3 is a, a total sign-in bonus uh, we can take a look at uh, here is the attack relic now this is the one that I'm, I'm working on the most right now if we click on the obtainable it'll tell me that I can go to the spirit trial let's try that here in a second uh, then we've also got uh, recharge sale so all of the materials that I've seen you can get just by playing the game uh, in its various game modes so now that I've done that I want to go ahead and unlock so every time I click this it's gonna give me a, a couple of points in percentage for uh, for my character's progression there. Obviously, once I get to uh, to 100, then I will uh, I will unlock that power. Also got a, uh, a crit relic. That's pretty badass looking. Uh, I like that. And then there's also something called SG, which um, I'm not gonna get to until 330. So it's gonna be a while. <laughs> uh, what else we got here? Ah, uh, enhance. Okay, so this is pretty standard stuff here. You know, through probably playing different RPGs, especially mobile games, uh, you have a lot of enhancement systems usually with these games. So, for example, now I've got uh, all of these different um, epic pieces of gear that I can enhance by spending gold. So here we go. Uh, this one is actually maxed out. Maxed out. Ah, this one I can boost. Okay, so here we go. So combining the the boots and 120 gold per enhancement. And I'll go ahead and click auto and let's see how many levels I get out of this before it either maxes out or I'm poor. <laughs> Thankfully gold comes pretty easy uh, in this game and I haven't like really run out without needing more uh, most of the time anyway. So there we go now that that's completely maxed out. We also have uh, a socket system as you uh, you might expect and there we go there's two sockets. I can add some uh, some HP gems there. I've got another HP gem there. Yeah let's go ahead and we'll throw both of those in the uh, the chest slot area. We've also got, now this is pretty interesting, I think. This is one of the more uh, unique features. We've also got pets in the game. Now, the the unique thing about the pets here in uh, Blades and Rings is that they at, will actually serve as a, uh, a salvage or a devour pet. Now, what does that mean? Well, if I want to empower my char pup here, like get him some more levels above 55, then I can devour old gear. 
Now, I don't actually have any gear specifically that he is looking for, but if I had, for example, some old purple gear that was sitting in my inventory that I've replaced since because uh, I got a better piece, I could select those pieces and then I could devour. In this case, I've just got some tokens, so I'll go ahead and devour those, and yeah, that got me a little bit of a... Uh, uh, some XP for my Charp Up. So it, it's a really in interesting and cute system, I think. That uh, And you can see him down there uh, by the horse's legs. They'll, that's a way that you can make use of old equipment that you're no longer uh, wearing for your character. You just give it to him and he gets more powerful, <laughs> which I think is pretty cool. It's kind of kind of taking, you know, your, your your dog eating your shoe to the next level. <laughs> Alright, so next up, I want, let's take a look. Actually, let's quickly take a look at the achievements. Now this is one of the means in which you, you can get a lot of uh, premium currencies and materials and things like that. Like look there, there's 200k gold and some diamonds for some uh, some easy achievements and you'll get these all freaking day. There are so many different achievements that will feed you different currencies. Now there's also the rune system. Now as you level up you'll unlock more of these, uh, these rune slots and these runes act as another form of uh, progression for your character and ways that you can empower them. For example, here uh, with this uh, this Fury Rune, I'm getting plus 100, or 315 to my attack. And on top of that, I can also upgrade these gems. So there's an upgrade button there. And that just spent out a, a certain amount of the, um, the Rune Seeds, that blue kind of a uh, gem looking icon down there. That's the Brune Seed and the Rune Seed count. I've also got over here uh, Incise, and this is going to give me a plus 9.5 hit percent chance. Can go ahead and uh, and upgrade that. Now if I want to, of course, I can select a, a Rune, hit replace, and then this is going to show me what uh, what runes I have currently in my bag. Now I've, I've sold a whole lot of my runes uh, that I didn't need, and, uh, and salvaged them to, to become uh, rune seeds. That's what you can do with your old runes or runes that you're not even using in the first place. Maybe you've got doubles or something like that. Go ahead and salvage them. Uh, in fact, that's what we're looking at right here. Fast salvage, boom. I just got 15,000 rune seeds now. There's also an exchange system here by uh, acquiring a certain kind of currency then you can, that you farm up. You can get some really, really like top tier runes by uh, by doing that. So pretty much everything that I've seen is acquirable just by playing the game. Uh, now we could actually take that a step further, this topic of the uh, the runes. We've got something called the Rune Tower. Now this is where you can earn chests that will, uh, will give you a bunch of runes from inside. This is also of course a good source for getting rune seeds. So let's go ahead and we'll challenge the next level and let's see what kind of uh, action we can get into here. It's a pretty simple and straightforward concept. You're thrown onto a level and you fight monsters. Maybe uh, a bunch of monsters, might be a single monster. I think in this case, we're facing off against one boss, a beast guard. And I've got to burn him down pretty quickly, which is exactly what I'm doing. I think I'm actually kind of over leveled for this. It's been a while since I've been to the, uh, the tower. And look at that, I'm just absolutely melting him. Done, done, son. So there's my uh, my rune seed reward, and then it, there's the flash, and I got a bunch of common runes. Uh, I got a couple of um, higher tier runes, but nothing special. Let's do that one more time because not only was that super easy, super fast, but I also didn't get very good runes out of it either. <laughs> Let's see if we can get some better runes than that. I've had some some amazing luck uh, from doing these uh, these rune runs. Another beast guard. And he seems to, yeah, seems to be a little bit tougher than the previous guy, but not too much. I'm really hoping to see like at higher and higher level of the uh, the rune tower here, we get to phase up against some more intimidating uh, enemies, ones that will, will have like different uh, effects that you'll need to like run away from, things like I was talking about before, some of the more dangerous uh, encounters, which I think we should take a look after this. So there's another 800 and. Oh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. That's some epic quality rune action right there for you. Uh, let's go to the uh, the menu. I really want to see what that is now. Uh, buff. Okay, we're good. And go to runes. Go to... Oh, wait a minute. Actually, did I get a double? Yes. Yes, I did. That was a, a double. I forgot. That was the exact same icon as the uh, the currently equip equipped rune. Oh, well. 
Uh, I'm gonna keep going because I'm, I'm looking for like a, a plus HP. I have actually a plus HP here, but this is a, a blue quality, and I would I, actually I want I want a purple quality. <laughs> like I'm getting I'm getting really like picky about this now, and I, and for good reason. I mean, the higher the quality, the more you're getting out of it, right? Now I think I mentioned a little bit about guilds. Uh, guilds are a very big part here of Blades and Rings. Uh, not only are they you know a social platform for you to connect with other people, but that's more than likely going to be the way that you actually team up and form groups to do lots of the different content, including feasts. Uh, there are a lot of timed events that take place uh, on a daily basis or a weekly basis and things like that. And I'll go and show you guys the schedule here soon. But uh, yeah, guilds are a huge part here. It's um, it's not easy getting, getting people uh, to like randomly form groups, it, it seems like, despite all of the activities here that I've seen. Like we've got the Demon Abyss, we've got the Trial bosses here, uh, we've got the server bosses. Let's take a look at the server boss menu here. We've got all of these server bosses. And this is what I mean by like this, a, a lot of daily and weekly timed events. You can see here's the timers for all of these different world bosses. And sometimes I'll, I'll go there and I'll be the only one that is, you know, now trying to fight this uh, this server boss that is spawned. Uh, but yeah, obviously all I re really need to do probably is uh, just connect with some more people through my guild or maybe somehow uh, through just the regular chat if I can and uh, see if I can form up some groups to take down these baddies. Uh, same thing for, yeah, like I said, the, the trial bosses here. You've got all of these different trial bosses, which I think are really freaking cool. Let's take a look at the uh, the group formation uh, feature here. So if I want to, I, I can enter in as a team that I've already got formed up, like I said, likely from maybe your guild or whatever, or you might be lucky and be able to auto-match with somebody. But as you can see, this isn't the most popular uh, thing to do. Maybe it's because of the hour that I'm I'm doing this recording. Uh, we've also got the, uh, the Demon Abyss. This is another uh, team-based uh, event that we can do. So if I go to, uh, to auto-match, and it's starting auto match, and there's no teams for the running right now for this either. Sad face. Uh, <laughs> but let's actually, because we do have a solo button here. Let's see if we can solo this bad boy. The battle starts in five seconds. All right. Let's see what we got. We've got uh, Demon Abyss. We've got three waves that we need to defeat. We're on wave three now, and I've killed over 200 of these punks, and I've barely taken a scratch. I'm not even sure if I've even consumed a potion yet at this point, which is totally automated for you, by the way. <laughs> We're getting some sweet XP. I just leveled up there. This is really good XP gains. Look at that. Look at the green bar down at the bottom. Look at how fast it's filling up. This is freaking crazy, dude. When I log in, this is this is like one of my highest priority activities right here uh, to get into. Of course, I'll, I mean most activities will grant you a lot of XP, and there are so many different activities. You got the regular main questing, you've got the uh, the bounties that you can uh, participate in, all of the the guild related like group dungeon activities. Here we have a, a soloable version of one of them as well, which is really nice. Two, one, and done. 257 monsters. I got ridiculous amounts of XP. I got over 1,056 more XP than the last time that I was here. That is pretty freaking awesome. All right, so let's take another look at the uh, the daily section here. Oh, I remembered now the timed events. Right. So from this menu, you can see all of the the daily. Uh, options that you have for game activities, right? Which is uh, right up here in the top right near the uh, the ring icon there. And then you can go to the timed events and this is gonna show you like what's available uh, on a, a like a more rare basis. So for example here you can see that there's a, a guild feast, there are uh, GVG activities. Ah, this is it here. Here's the spirit trial. And then from here, from the retrieval menu, we'll click on uh, retrieve. And there we go. We got uh, we got that. We've also got the the guild feast. We've got minority. Uh, minority can retrieve two times. Total price is 
uh, 30 blue diamonds. So basically what I'm doing is rather than instead of going out and participating in these uh, these events like like on the spot if, if I want to if I don't maybe have time to make it to the event or something like that I can come here and I can spend diamonds and still get the rewards out of it I mean you know schedules or schedules maybe you got school or something like that but you still want the rewards from these events you can totally still get in on that so uh, yeah there you go I spent out uh, a bunch of diamonds but at the same time I got a ton of rewards for it there we go there's some steak God knows I love steak. <laughs> oh wow, I'm really close to unlocking this relic. Hang on, hang on. Oh snap! Oh! I did not realize that that added up to that much progression. That is freaking awesome. There we go, I just unlocked my attack relic. That is one sexy looking item too. Oh man, and here's uh, here's some more that I can add to uh, my HP relic. Yeah, let's go ahead and do that. Dude, those gold level uh, progression consumables are insane. Okay, you know what? I really want to take my revenge on this guy right here. This dwarf king has been the bane of my progression now for a while. I have challenged this guy a couple of times. And he is insanely powerful. Um, I've <laughs> I've had to, to put him on pause while I go level some more, while I, I get my relics and stuff like that. <sighs> if I can get this ring, it will really be awesome. Let's go ahead and let's challenge this dwarf. <laughs> and let's see if I can finally get this freaking ring. Okay, so here we go. Starting off, there's going to be some uh, some basic scrubs that I need to get out of my way. This is like the uh, just the beginning waves of enemies that I need to exterminate. We've got a timer of 10 minutes, which might sound like it's a lot, but... Well, oh boy, here he comes. Here's the Dwarf King. This bastard, you are going down this time. I am not... I am not going to fall again. To your tyranny. Oh, here he goes. Go, 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 move. All right, cool. I got out of it in time. All right. Yep, there we go. <laughs> There's that auto mount. Once, you're, when you, once you've been running for X amount of seconds, your character will auto mount. It's pretty insane. Oh, crap. Move, move, move. He's trying to... Yep, there he is. He's trying to ninja me. He is... He is slick, man. I don't know where he got those teleport skills from. It's probably from the ring. That's why we need to take it from him. <laughs> Any second now, he's gonna be doing it. I know it. Yep, th th there, he there he goes. There he's going. He's trying to ninja me. Nope, not happening this time, son. <sighs> this is bad. He is actually kicking my butt right now. All right, come on. All right, dismount. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get out, get out, get out, get out, get out. <gasps> I won! Oh! I don't believe it! I don't believe it! Did you see how close I was to dying? I finally beat you, you bastard! Oh, finally got this ring! I thought it was gonna be... Oh, I had no idea how many more attempts it was gonna take. Releases lightning bolt to attack four targets, deals 500% skill damage to the first target. Damage decreases as it reflects. Oh! Oh, I'm going to wear that with pride right there. Boom, look at that. New skill slot unlocked. Yes. Yes. And uh, you can see up in the uh, the upper right corner there, the uh, the ring icon is uh, glowing very brightly to indicate, look at that, new ring power acquired from the, uh, the chapter 2. That was only the chapter 2 dwarf. <laughs> I'm, I don't even know how much more insane it's going to get. Look at this, up to chapter 13. For the uh, for the dwarfs, chapter eleven for the humans. There's so many rings to acquire, so many powers, uh, and as I get more and more of them, then I'll be able to, uh, to yeah, just enhance 
my uh, my mage in all sorts of uh, different ways. But I think that's going to do it for this video, guys. You got to see, uh, I think, a good overview of, uh, of what I've seen so far from this game. Blades and Rings is available for both Apple and Android devices. Again, don't forget there's a link in the description of the video that will take you to more information, checking out more of what the game offers, checking out some of the premium features available for this game. So, uh, yeah, I'll, overall, I have to say... Compared to a lot of the other RPGs that I've played like this for mobile devices, Blades and Rings may not be the most stunning visually, but in terms of the quality and the, the number of features is really, really impressive. But I want to know what you guys think down in the comment section below. Click the like button to support these first look videos here on the channel, and make sure you're subscribed so you don't miss the next video. Thanks again for watching, this is Kinetic, and I'll see you next time.